All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise on and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushah, Bahashim, Rakakadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples towards younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutations to the hopeful leg out there pushing his words in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful leg, the believers, the listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures. Through faith in you, how about Shema Al Shah? And when I want to get into the day, all right, dealing with this incident, okay, that happened, you know, in this mall, you know, in New Jersey, and pretty much as you seen, okay, you had this Edomite, you know, and um, and Jake, you know, get into a scuffle, okay, and when the officers came, okay, they treated Jake like an animal, okay, and they treated Esau like nobility. Now, I'm not here to complain and say this is wrong and this and that. See, this is Esau's kingdom, okay? When when will you Israelites get it? That the same people that packed you on slave ships, okay? The same people, all right, that castrated you, separated you from limb to limb, okay? B uh, buck break the men in front of the, you know, the rest of the slaves, okay? Burnt Jake alive, drug Jake, all right, behind cars. Okay, how is this a surprise that he would, you know, do this in his own kingdom? Okay, and that his people would have a privilege, okay, in their kingdom. This is the kingdom of Esau. Okay, and that's why it's so, you know, that's why it's so, um, you know, precious to have this understanding. Because we don't bug out at these things anymore. We're not in awe, okay, at the uh, uh, <laughs> unequality between Jacob and Esau, man. Okay, we understand the narrative. We understand that this is how it's supposed to be, man. Okay, and that's why you know this sets the tone for what a savior. Okay, beginning with who? Yahweh Shai. <laughs> you see, we have a savior, and that savior is Yahweh Shai. Cause when you go into the scriptures, okay, Jake do all this crying and complaining, but then, you know, when you preach Yahweh Shai, okay, it falls on deaf ears. <laughs> you know, but our people don't understand the purpose of Yahweh Shai. When you read Luke 1, okay, and um, 71, well, I started 68, it said, Blessed be the Lord, power of Israel, for he have visited and redeemed his people and have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and and from all all right and from the hand of all that hate us man because right now we're in the hand of our enemies but we're going to be delivered all right from this man's control well he can't do this anymore okay and much worse this is light work compared to what he's finna do and what we really finna need salvation from man you know but this is why we push your house shot he's the deliverer from this circ the circumstances we're in man Okay, let's keep reading, man. You know, let's get some more precepts, you know. The spirit kind of shifted, okay. Because at the end of the day, it all roots back to your house shot, man. This is Jeremiah 31, okay. And um, in 10, it says, Hear the word of the Lord, O ye nations, and declare in the isles afar off. And say, he that scattered Israel will gather him as a shepherd doth his flock. For the Lord have redeemed Jacob and ransomed him 
okay from the hand going back to the control of him that was stronger than he and right now our enemy all right carnally okay it's not even a comparison how much stronger you know this man has gotten you know um over us man okay he controls the resources he controls the uh you know the, the money the currency he controls you know militaries okay he controls shelter food <laughs> you see jobs he controls all these things man okay this man has gotten way stronger man you know the grid you know <laughs> This man controls it all, okay? Because the earth was given what into the hand of the wicked, and within that he has uh, created systems where we're continually oppressed and he's continually exalted. Man, we need a savior from these circumstances, man. <laughs> okay, and this in that video was just a prime example, okay, of what's really going on, man. You know, because people look at that and look at it as an isolated event, but no, man, that's a statement. This is this man's kingdom. You are in another nation's kingdom, and that nation hates you, man. Okay? This is Isaiah 49 and 24. It says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered? Okay? And we're the prey. And right now, Esau is the mighty. Okay? He's mighty within his system. Within this Edomite kingdom, he's mighty. Okay? And it says, or the lawful captive delivered, you know, and that's speaking of the elect, man. You know, those that scribe in their righteousness and through faith, we're going to be uh, blameless, man. You know, this is uh, verse 25. But thus said the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with thee and I will save thy children so we we finna we have a power that's finna contend with these people man because marching ain't the way okay because the only thing that's gonna happen niggas gonna make some po post on facebook you know niggas gonna go on a rant on facebook all right nigga might march you know they probably not gonna march because one thing i noticed about jake when it's dealing with you know uh kids you know when kids get shot or the injustice happen to kids jake don't march but when some big grown, okay, rusty, dusty nigga, okay, get shot up, all right, or some old, wicked Evite, they get shot up, then niggas march, okay? But, you know, when it comes to the children, you know, Jake really ain't, you know, Jake don't move, man, you know? But at the end of the day, whatever they do is going to be the no avail, and Jake don't even thinking about getting militant with them. They got the, you know, Jake be at the shooting range, uh, I got mine, and, you know, teaching their daughter how to break down guns and all these different things. But Jake ain't going to bust a grape. Jake ain't going to make a move towards an all Edomite neighborhood. Nan nigga going to do it. Okay? Nan nigga with two eyebrows is going to go into all Edomite neighborhood with smoke. Okay? <laughs> you see? Nigga going to cry, complain, make memes, and then go back to being a goddamn uh, 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 <laughs> a joke, man. Okay? And it says, verse 26, and it says, And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood. And that's why you got this third world's war brewing, because a lot of Edomites are going to kill each other off, man, you know, with this high-power weaponry, man. You see? Then the Most High putting it in their mind to do this. As with sweet as with sweet wine, and all flesh uh, shall know that the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shah, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob, okay? The mighty one of Jacob, man. You see, we have a mighty one, <laughs> all right? Yahweh Shah, man, okay? That's our champion, and he's going to come, all right, contend, all right, with these heathens on our behalf, man. You see? Let's get a couple more, man. When you go to Psalm 72, because when you go into Yahweh Shah, he's always talking about busting up the oppressors, man. This is Psalm 72 and 1. It says, Give the king thy judgments, O power, and the righteousness unto the king's son, which is Yahweh Shai. He shall judge thy people with righteousness and the poor with judgment, and the mountain shall bring peace to the people, all right, of Israel, and the and the, that government, all right, that governing body of Israel is going to, all right, would administer peace unto Israel, man. And it says, And the little hills by righteousness, he shall judge the poor of the people, 
he shall save the children of the needy and shall break in pieces the oppressor. Okay, let's read it in NLT, verse 70, uh, Psalm 72 and 4. Help, it says, help him to defend the poor, to rescue the children of the needy, and to crush their oppressors, man. Yahweh Shai is the solution. Okay, Yahweh Shai is the solution to all this, man. <laughs> you know, and our people don't understand that they are in another man's kingdom, man. You know, so at the end of the day, we await, you know, salvation, man, from on high. <laughs> okay. And that's the only that's the only plan from here on out. If it ain't your house shot, what else is what else can you be talking about? Okay? <laughs> Nothing else is gonna cut except your house shot, man. You know, so Lord will you brothers and you few sisters will edify to the next time I say shall one.